Ilya Teporia is here to kick things off. Is he there? There he is. Mi amigo. My friend. Ilya. What an introduction. How are, how, how are you? I am doing great. And it's so great to have you. And it's so great to see you. You're such a big star, Ilya. No, I no. thought you'd be too big for us at this point. I see you all over the place at the Bernabeu no, with man. the president. I thought I thought it was done. I thought our time was done. So it's so nice to have you. Yeah. I, to be honest, I had a great experience since the, since the fight, since the finish. So... Yeah, I will. I'm. I feel really grateful and thankful with life for all the moments that it's giving me. I can't imagine. C could I ask when you dreamed about becoming champion and everything that would happen? I know it's only been two months since the victory. Did you dream of this, or has this exceeded your expectations? What it would be like? What it would feel like after becoming UFC champion? To be honest, like it, it's been more that that the, expe ex uh, the expectations I had. And it's not about the, the quantity of the people, it's about the quality, right? The the love I received and uh, appreciated, uh, the el amor, the love. el cariño. Yes. It, it, yeah, the love I received, it was, it was amazing. So, yeah, and what by, can I tell you? And I'm by the way, happy man. Did, you, did you just get married like a couple of days ago? Yeah, I just got married like two days ago. Wow. It was like unofficial. Uh, yeah, we're gonna do the official party in Spain. With it, just like a small celebration with the with my my wife's family in Miami because they live there. So we're gonna do another official celebration here in Spain. Incredible. Well, congratulations to you and your wife. And uh, I I even saw like the night of the victory, you had like a a baby reveal celebration plan, yeah. right? It's that's we have another baby girl coming in. In July, in a couple of months, I have one boy, and now another girl coming. Do, do you ever sit back? Do you have time to sit back now and say, look at all these amazing things that are happening to me? Look at all the blessings in my life. It, it's like it's like one <laughs> after the honest, next. I didn't have any time to enjoy all these moments, you know, because I had to do a lot of travels. I had to, I don't know, do so many things, but... As I told you, I'm I'm very happy to 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 have all these opportunities because I dreamed it once. I asked for this life, so right now I'm I just try to enjoy the present. Uh, as far as the night goes, back in February in Anaheim, you posted a clip um, on your social media right after where you were you were talking to yourself before you walked out. Um, in, in, I think yeah. Spanish, you were saying something to yourself. What were yeah. you saying to yourself just as you were about we're to go through just the tunnel? Myself, like, I can feel any fear. God is with me. He going to will this, this, this battle for me. I dreamed this moment. I asked him for, for all this. So everything good is on the another side of the fear. So I just have to enjoy the process. How many times have you watched the fight? Oof, so many times. <laughs> And it's every time I watch it, it's so special, you know, because I dreamed it. And now I have to, the pleasure to, to see it and repeat it and see it again and again and again. So happy man, as I told you. Yes. Um, a big talking point going into the fight was that you had world champion and 15 and 0 in your Instagram bio. But I noticed that's not there anymore. Is there any particular, there's now like a quote there. Is there any reason for the yeah. switch? Yeah, because right now my, my goal before this the, the, this fight was to become a UFC World Champion. Right now I'm the UFC World Champion, so I have a different goals right now. I want to be a legend. I just write the, the history. Right now it's time to to write the, the legend. Yes, okay. So now you're on to the next chapter. I do have to say, uh, seeing you just a few days later walk out in, on the on the pitch at the Bernabeu with all those legends there and seeing you kick the ball like this is not something that UFC champions get MMA champions get seeing you with the president of Spain seeing the attention that you got in Georgia and in Spain when you landed seeing you with Leo Messi and all those like this is I don't know if we've ever seen anything like that you know even with the likes of Conor McGregor this type of reception and so I'm wondering if if you have any sort of idea as to why it's been so big? Why do you think you've connected with so many people? Why do you think so many people are so excited about this? Because I called the show before. I, I, I was saying to everyone, like, I will become a USC World Champion because I sacrificed a lot of things and this and that. And 
I think they find they find like some kind of inspiration and motivation in me. You know, that's I think it was the main reason that I get so much love from them. It, it wasn't because I, I just became a UFC world champion. You know, this is my thoughts. Yeah, I think so. But yeah. what has been, if you can choose one, I know it might be hard. Like the most special thing that has happened to you since becoming champion. What's the one thing that has stood out above the rest? The day when I get back home, I sit in my couch and I watch my fights. The like repeated. It was like, wow, wow! I, I'm watching my dreams um, becoming in, in in reality. You know, I can watch it in TV and repeat it how many times I want. You know, that's something amazing. You know, because you you dream it so much. You you dream that moment so much time in your life, and you feel that fear. And I don't know, you have so many deep conversations with yourself. And when the day comes that you can, you go back home, you sit in your couch and you can watch it like repeated, it's something amazing. When, when you see... That was one of the most special moments for me. There were a lot of videos that came out of people celebrating, people outside in Georgia, I think some family members of yours crying and stuff like that. When yeah. you see those videos, how did that make you feel? It, yeah. It makes me feel very, very proud and and happy. You know, I don't know. There is so many emotions involved in, in involved in, in in that. You know, because I don't know. I don't know how to explain. You know, I'm 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 just happy. I'm just happy. Fair enough. Um, okay, so here we are. You're you're the champion now, and of course, there's uh there's a lot of talk about when you'll fight again, where you'll fight, who you'll fight against, <sighs> all these things. So let's talk about some of these things. Um, first of all, you are at UFC 300. You are sitting in the front row. Did you go there specifically yeah. to get a good look at Max, or was there another reason why you were there? Yeah, I just uh, I was just hoping him to win because if he was uh, he was to win, I was supposed to fight him next. So he did a great job. To be honest, the the, the greatest moments in the fight we all know was the last ten seconds. Without that, I I didn't like the fight at all. But what makes that fight special is was the last ten seconds, the real bad motherfucker moment. So you have to you have to give him his his credit. But yes, uh, hopefully we're gonna we're gonna share the octagon uh, until the end of the year, and you know what's gonna happen, and you know what what I think about that. Okay, I, I want to ask you specifically about that, if I can, in a second. But you said you didn't like the fight leading up to the last 10 seconds. No, I, Why didn't you like it? Yeah. Because, I don't know, I didn't see any any technique. I, don't, I, I didn't see any strategy. I didn't see any power. I didn't see anything. You know, I didn't see any head movements. I, I just see, a, like, a, a bar fight, you know? Even the last 10 seconds. It was amazing as a fan perspe per, um, perspective. It was great to watch. Yeah. But before that, I didn't was impressed at all. Do you think all the the excitement over those last ten seconds has has made people kind of think about the fight differently and and uh, maybe forget some of these things that you're talking about? Like, in other words, do you think the last ten seconds has has kind of overshadowed the other four rounds and you know four minutes and fifty seconds? Not overshadowed because you have to give him the his credit, you know, because he did a great champ. He was winning the fight and he risked his fight in the last ten seconds, you know, because he could be the one who, who get knocked out. So he 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 like he acts as a bad motherfucker. He deserved that win and you have to you have to give him the credit. But Fighting with me, it's gonna be like completely different because I don't I don't make any step backs, you know. I all the time I walk I walk forward. I can wrestle. I can go to the ground. I can punch you, and I move. I go inside that cage with with that strategy, you know. I I just uh, I just I don't go there just to throw some punches, you know. Mm -hmm. So he what he didn't the, the, he didn't in in 90 minutes we all we all know we, we I did it in 9 so he get beat three times by by Volkanovski actually Volkanovski is a, he was a great great champion just imagine how bad motherfucker Volkanovski is that he beat three times max Holloway. 
So um, seconds after the fight, they showed you on camera, and a lot of people have said afterwards that you looked scared, that you looked rattled. Can you tell me what you were actually thinking and feeling in that moment? You know when they showed you on camera seconds after his fight in the front row over there? So uh, to be honest, I, I didn't even realize that I, ha I had the camera on, on, on my face. I, I was just, I think I was talking to Israel, then I was like looking around and all that, so, but it is what it is. What can I say? What, what were you feeling in the seconds after, after seeing that? Mm, I don't know, man. It's like, mm, I know what's going to happen when we're going to share the, the octagon. I know that in reality, he he's not so good that people think he is. You just have to see his face, you know? He looks like he had an accident in a motorcycle with, with, without the helmet, you know? Um, in his post-fight interview, he said, um, there's a, there's a matador who's running away, come, you know, sign the contract, things like that. What, what do you think he means by that? Why does he seem to think that you're running away? Actually, the UFC saved him for this moment because I asked about, about Max before, before the world Conospi fight. I was, I, I, I was just asking for him all the time. I wanted to, I wanted to fight him. I want to fight him. Finally, they gave me Volkanovski. Because they hide, they hide him for for this moment. Mm -hmm. So, so is it fair to say if if the UFC comes to you and says, "Okay, who do you want your first title defense to be against?" Are you saying Max Holloway? For sure, Max Holloway. He's the next. Okay, um, he's the next. The the reason I ask that is for two reasons. He, Number one, he can say whatever he wants to say that I'm running and that he's the bull and this and that, come on, man. Just bring the same energy you, you had in the last 10 seconds, but bring it in the first 10 seconds, mm -hmm. and we'll see what's going to happen. Let's bang. You... Let's bang, and we'll see what's going to happen. I know that I will be the first one to take his lights out. I know that I'm way better than him everywhere. I can do with him whatever I want to do. I, I, I just can ask him, like, how you want me to finish it? You want me to knock you out? You want me to submit you? What, what you want me to do? Is that part of the motivation to be the first guy to knock him down, knock him out? Is this something that you want? Yeah, there is a lot of things involved in, in, in this fight, you know. He got that belt. He has that bad motherfucker belt. So I'm excited to 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 add that, that belt to my legacy too. UFC champion, the bad the baddest motherfucker. What else? So if he and does then maybe we go for the for the second weight class. Right, and I'll ask you about that in a moment, but if he does fight you, will the BMF title also be on the line? Yeah, of course. Without the BMF belt, I don't want him at all. If not, I'm going to fight with, with Walk, who deserves more than him, the, the rematch. So that's what but I want to... Because he, he has the, 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 that belt, I'm excited about that. That's okay. why I want him. So... He didn't. He he he's being saying like I, right now I have a lot of a, a lot of options this and that. He didn't have any options. I'm the champion right now. I choose the date. I choose the 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 the, the play. So he just has to be ready, and he has to wait for the call. Whenever I want him, he has to be ready. Hmm. So what do you say to people who say that Volk deserves an immediate rematch? Like you can't say that he, he he didn't deserve it because the guy deserved it. He he's been a uh, world champ. He defended the belt for six or seven times. I don't know. He's been a, a pound for pound fighter. He's actually a great great fighter. You know, very very technical. The most technical guy I I, I fight ever. So there's a reason he's being a a, a world champ. You know, but I think he just he needs more time for 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 the recovery you know because even if you fight until the end of the year and I'm I'm knocking out um I'm knocking him out it's going to be like he didn't have the time to recover he get knocked out uh, three times uh, in one year something like that this and that I I just want the best for him I want the best version of Volkanovski so he needs more time he needs to recover once he's going to feel like he's ready we we going to we going to run it back no problem okay I'm here to fight. This is this is my business, you know. My business is to fight. So, so I never choose my, my opponent, and I'm never gonna do it. So you would be okay if you fought Max end of the year, and Volk just takes time off, and then he fights 
you know, let's say in, in your mind, you win this fight against Max and then he fights you after that. You'd be okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. He deserves that shot. Mm -hmm. Um, and you know, I remember when we spoke right before the uh, Volk fight and you said, you know, all these old guys, like they're not going to get another crack. This is a new era. So I'm just curious why, yeah. why do you want to fight? And I prove it. And I, and I prove it. Look, Jai, he has to retire because he, he don't going to get any more of the title shot. Brian Ortega, he don't going to get any title shot, shot because he going to have to, to make some, some fights, some fights with, with the guys in, 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 in the rankings. So I don't think he, he's going to still winning the fights because um, I see his level going like this. Max Holloway, I'm going to put him into the retirement. I'm, I'm going to take care of that. Wolkanowski, we all know that. We are, uh, so Korean Zombie, he's already retired. So I prove all the time everyone wrong, you know, because they being saying like, no, what the fuck are you talking about? They've been a great champions and this and that, 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 that. But it's time for the new generation. It's time for the new blood. I've been saying this for a long time. When would you like to fight again? What month? Me, I'm, I will be ready for uh, since some September. Okay. August, I don't know, August, September, October, whatever. Always in shape, very uh, yes. always ready, ready to go and ready to kill, never ready to die. Have they have they talked to you about when they want you to fight again or what they're thinking or when they have you scheduled? Somebody, have there been those talks with the UFC brass? Yeah, maybe. Uh, I think they want me to fight in the sphere in, in September. So we'll see how the thing's going to, how they're going to figure out the things. Uh, at the same time, uh, we want to go in, 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 in Spain, we want to bring the UFC here in the in the first trimester of the the next next year. So that's one of the reasons I want to fight like in September and October to be able to fight again in the first trimester of the year. Wow! Yeah. So you would be main event for the first show at the Sphere, the the one in September. Yeah, I think there's no more fights. Me being like co main event or. No, in no, the, I know. I just meant like that card in particular. That I mean, that's going to be a gigantic yeah. card for the UFC. Yeah, it's going to be a yeah, it's going to be a huge one. Oh man, that's why Max. I want to be there defending my belt, getting another uh, another belt, adding to my legacy that BMF belt, which excites me a lot. Be the first one to knock out Max Holloway, put him into the retirement. And bring the UFC to Spain. That's right now my main goal. And 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 what about the Bernabeu? Have there been talks? Um, is that a possibility for that first trimester of 2025? How do you feel? We are we are doing everything to make it happen. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. We ha we had a lot of conversation with the Bernabeu. I had a meeting with with Hunter and. In Las Vegas with my team, so we we are just fixing the things and we're gonna make it happen. Ooh. It's gonna happen. It's just a matter of time. Right. And and do you it's gonna be? I I truly believe that it's gonna be the biggest event event for the UFC history. Mm -hmm. they, they, they had an event with eight, eighty thousand people. No, the most is fifty five. They didn't. So this this is gonna be the first time that we're gonna put eighty thousand people for. For uh, UFC fights, and and uh, if you fight in Spain, the the first the first event has to be at the Bernabeu, right? You can't do a small stadium there or a small arena, right? It has to be the big dog. Yeah, exactly. It's gonna be that one. There's no another option for me. And and and, and who's who's the who's the ideal opponent for that one? In your opinion, as as you envision everything, as you laid out, obviously Max, you're saying Sphere. Who would be the opponent for that one? Would it be the Volk rematch or someone else? For me, I don't know if if Connor beats Mike Chandler, we can fight for the BMF belt. Oh my! And one seventy. If O'Malley defends the, uh, his belt, which I have many many doubts, 
that's an exciting fight too. So I have, I don't know. In my mind, I, I see a lot of big fights, you know. Even with Volkanovski, it's going to be huge. I think even if we bring you to fight me and Bernabeu, we're going to sold out the arena anyway. So I have a deadly ready, right, a deadly right hand. I don't know. I just want to let you know, okay? Don't underestimate this it. right hand, okay? Look at this thing. Right. People have nightmares right. about this right hand. I just want to let you know. They don't call me Mr. 10-7 right. for nothing, Ilya, all right? You had a 10-7 one time, but I get 10-7. <laughs> They call you the Mr. 10, 10 second? 10 7, 10 7. I get 10 7 10, rounds. 10 7. Yes. Oh, <laughs> oh you, you are talking to the 10 7. I know, you are the real one. <laughs> you, yeah. You actually get them. Um, and, and, and let me ask you I heard that you and Sean had a conversation on Saturday. Is that true? What did you guys yeah. talk about? Yeah, I just told him, like, congratulations on, on your title defense. And he told me, like, I'm going to defend my belt. You do your things. And we're going to build the biggest fight in the UFC history. And this is what's going to happen. If he defends the belt, that's going to be the, the, the biggest fight, I think, in the, in the UFC history. And if we, 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 we make it in Bernabeu, even bigger. Mm -hmm. But he's fighting your friend, Marab. So I'm ready. I'm ready for all the things. What? He's fighting your friend, Marab, though. Yeah, he's fighting my friend, Marab, and... I truly believe that Mirab's going to walk his ass. But I don't know. If he does it, I will be waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Then he deserves, he really deserves the, the, the shot. If he, domina he, he dominates his, his weight class, you, you have to give him the, the, the chance to, to move up to the next weight division. But right now, right now, but right now, it doesn't make any sense, you know, because he has a guy who is a number one contender. He really deserves the, the, the shot, who is Marab. And I truly believe that he's going he gonna to beat him. Uh, by the way, I, I spoke to Marab on my show last week, and he was telling me that a few years ago, he, you know, he's hanging out with you, and he, he looked at your phone, and he saw all these celebrities who would write to you on Instagram, and you were like, nah, I don't care. Like, there were so many unopened messages from celebrities, from, from famous people, from models, from things like that, and you're like, you're not even opening them. Because you said, I need to be focused. And so now I can't imagine what your DMs are like. Do you ever have interactions with people? With famous people, with anyone who reaches out and say, I can't even, I can't believe like what, what my life has turned into, the people that want to talk to me, the people that want to reach out, the people that I've inspired, the people that are rooting. Do, do, you, do you have those moments when you think back to you as a kid and you're trying to you know come up and now the whole world For wants sure. to talk to you? I, 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 I've been like a couple of days ago, I, I, I meet Messi. I've been talking with him for, I don't know, for five, ten minutes. We, we've been talking, uh, I don't know, about so many things. So... Yeah, of course, I get a lot of DMs, but it, it, it's not like I don't care and this and that, that I respect every people who, who text me and who, who want, I don't know, who wants me, who wants to reach me, you know, to, to tell me, hello, how are you and all that. I respect always that. And I text to a lot of people too. Mm -hmm. C could I ask, was that the first time you met Messi? Yeah, that was the first time I met Messi. He was like the one of the persons that I always had in my mind that if I see him, I'm going to ask him for a picture. That's the only person, him, and I think Michael Jordan, I would ask him, ask them for, for a picture. And, and could I ask, what, what do you guys talk about when you're speaking to one of the most famous people on the planet? What, what are you talking about in the tunnel over there? So first of all, he told me, like, congratulations on your fight, what you're doing here in Miami, and all that when's your next fight i invite him for my next fight he told me like i have to see my schedule i would love to come wow Did you hear me? Uh, Did I, you hear me? I I just get the call. No problem. Yeah, i heard that you said you invited him and he said i have to check my schedule. Yeah, he told me that. Wow. That he has to, yeah. So maybe, maybe, who knows? Um, can I ask you, and I'll but, just, just a couple more questions, then I'll yeah. let you go. Um, your your relationship with your one of your managers, your main manager, Jose, I think is very interesting, Jose Diaz, because he's yeah. a very young man, yeah. right? And I was just... He's the man. 
Can you tell me about how you, you know you could you could you could sign with any manager and and I know you guys have been together for a long time. So what is that connection that you have with Jose? Because it's cool to see such a young manager, you know, be a part of the success of of a great champion now in the UFC. So my relationship with with him, he's he's like my um, right now the old. He's almost like my my family mem- member. You know, I spend more time with him than with a lot of my family members. You know, I I, I love him and I respect him so much because he 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 doesn't work like you don't feel like the, the guy is working. He does it because he loves it. You know, he 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 loves what what, what he does and I respect that fuck you know he really takes care about me and he's one of the best right now right now in the, in, in the game and yeah i respect that guy he's I the best it. trust me i love it um and what about this rap video yeah. there was like a music video there's a song written about you i saw on your instagram what is this this is yeah. uh el hormiguero el hormiguero no yeah. that's a show but the song is uh something different uh, the song the song comes from El Psycho. It's a singer here in, in, in Spain. And my brother, Omar Montes, they did this did this song for me. They dedicated it to me. So, yeah, it's a great song. Crazy. It's be, uh, attended here in, in Spain, in the, in the whole world. I believe it. Unbelievable. Look at you. You're having songs written about you. You're on the Bernabeu pitch. You're hanging with Messi. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. A little bit tired today, to be honest. I just arrived here in Spain. I just came from the airport. A couple hours ago. No, it's okay. You're great. You're great. And yeah. and uh, in two hours or an hour and a half, we have uh, Real Madrid against Man City. Yeah. All day, every day. Real Madrid. I love it. Um, and, and so finally, um, Ilya, what, what is the... You support Barcelona, right? No, no. I, I don't support any La Liga team. I support Nottingham Forest of uh, Premier League. I don't have... Okay. I have no allegiance. I have no allegiance. Okay, <laughs> although they had a tough game yesterday, Barcelona. Sorry about that to the Barcelona fans against uh, PSG. Um, but I, yeah. I wanted to ask you, Ilya, what is the message to to Max? Because uh, he he has said a lot over the last couple of days. What is the message? I saw you guys go back and forth on Twitter. You had a, a like a Bible face off there. You put out the the verse. He put out the verse. What is the message to Max Holloway now, the BMF champion? The BMF champion. What's the message for Max Holloway? The, mess, the message is clear, right? Just get ready. Be waiting for the call. I will be thinking about the date, about the place, and be ready and bring that that energy that you had in the last 10 seconds and bring it in the first 10 seconds and do the same thing you did, but with me and try that. And trust me, I'm going to put your lights out. I will be the first one. He actually knows that. That's why he started to call out Another fight, he started to call out Conor McGregor, and I don't know, I heard so many names he started to call out after the fight. Now, I don't know why he lost the, the interest in to, to fight me. Before, he was like, wow, I want to fight him. He's running from, from the bull. I never run from you. Never, ever. I had your name in my contract. But right now, I'm going to ask for you. And trust me, it's going to be a hard night for you. What do you what do you envision? How does it finish? How does it end? And what round? In the first second rounds, I'm gonna finish. There is no doubt that I'm gonna finish him in the first second in the first two rounds. I told you I can ask him like how you want me to finish him. You want me to submit you? You want me to knock you out? How you want you want me to finish him? I can do with you whatever I wanna do. Whatever I wanna do. I'm be- better than him everywhere everywhere so yes you were a champion and you are, you are talking to the current baddest motherfucker in the world yeah. and and so my last question is how do you not let all this other stuff happening to you right now all the attention all the fame make your head too big and 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 you know not focus not have the same drive and determination and motivation that you had when you were coming up how do you no, stop right, that? right now i'm gonna st- i'm gonna stop with everything i did everything i i had to do and right now I'm, I, I will be like completely concentr- uh, concentrated in, in my training. So I'm, I'm going to go, go back home and start like full time training. Okay. Yeah. This is what I'm going to do now. 
And then the plan is because you know I'm a little bit tired of it. Sure. Yeah, it's a lot the of plan stuff. Is, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. But it is what it is. I'm happy. I'm glad that I have so many things to do. Yeah. Okay. So the plan is Sphere, September, Mexican Independence Day weekend, Ilya Taporia, Max Holloway, Featherweight title, BMF title, main event, first ever show in the Sphere. Let's go. Let's go. One of the biggest fights I think that the UFC can make right now and would be oh, one of the biggest pay-per-views oh, ever. Funny. Love it. Thank you, Ilya. Yeah, Thank you so much. We believe that. I right. believe. It. Oh, 100%. That's one of the big. I said I think it could sell out Bernab This could sell out Bernabeu, but I understand why they would want it at the Sphere, but this would be an instant sellout, in my opinion. My man, thank you very much for having me. It's been a pleasure. It's always nice to talk to you. Always a thank pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank Have you. A great day. Same to you. A la Madrid. Thank you so much, Ilya. A la Madrid. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye-bye. There he is. Have a good day. You too. Ilya Taporia joining us. Um, yeah, that, that would be pretty big, I would say. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it very much. Hey, if you like this video, give us the old thumbs up. Subscribe as well. You can get many more of these videos on the channel. So please do that. We would love you forever if you did so.